what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today guys, we're back again with a new video guys. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm going to be reacting to um, Ramadan month of fasting. Mm. This is going to be amazing. Um, Ramadan month of fasting by Sheikh Ahmed Dat. Mm. Uh, when it comes to Ramadan, I, I know Ramadan is about um, month of fasting and stuff. Uh, Muslim dedicate, I think, two months. Is it two months? Yeah, I think two months or a month plus for um, fasting and praying. So it's it's really amazing. We Christians too, we also um, dedicate time for fasting. I'm really glad like most of them also have their own period of fasting. Like it made it feel like you guys are almost the same. <laughs> you guys are the same to Christian, like in some way. You the fasting, I respect that. I respect people who fast and pray a lot. So Muslim fasting about Ramadan month of fasting. Uh, I'm really anticipating for this video and I would love to watch it. Let's get into it, guys. Ramadan, the month of fasting. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Shahru Ramadan alladhi unzila fihi al Qur'anu. Hudan lin nasi. وبينات من الهدى والفركان صدق الله صدق الله المولانا عظيم my dear brethren السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته in the English language there is a riddle so لغز أهجية a riddle which says what is stranger than sending coal to Newcastle. Newcastle is a city in England where coal is mined. And it would be a strange thing for people to export coal to Newcastle. But the question is, the riddle is, what is stranger than that? And a modern answer to that riddle is sending oil to Arabia, meaning to the Arab countries. It's stranger than sending coal to Newcastle. Now, I, as a Muslim, from the southmost tip of Africa, nearest to the South Pole, I am coming here to Arab lands, to Muslims who were originally where Islam started from, and I am coming to tell them something about Ramadan. And in telling them so, I have quoted a verse from the Holy Quran, from Surah Al-Baqarah, that is chapter 2, verse 185 for the non-muslims watching this program how can they have access to such a verse the first method is that you ask any muslim and if he tells you about a surah surah meaning chapter and he says baqarah in this volume which was presented to me by the presidency of islamic courts and affairs in your city of Doha, Qatar. In this volume of a translation of the Holy Quran, if you open the index, right at the back end of this volume is an index. Under B, you will find Baqarah. And if you look up, Baqarah means chapter 2. So you open chapter 2, you get to verse 185, and you will get this verse about Ramadan, the month of fasting. It says, Shahru Ramadan alladhi unzila fihi al-Qur'an. Ramadan is the month in which the Qur'an was revealed. Hudal lin nasi. In it is guidance for mankind, not only for the Arabs. Okay, guys, I have a question. Um, if I'm to learn Arabic, like how long will it take me to, to learn how to like um, speak it? Because when he's saying some things, uh, I, love to, I would like to say it. <laughs> with him like how long will it take me to learn um arabic i would love to learn it as a language to 
added to my own language already. So I love to learn. Not only for the Indonesians, not only for the Pakistanis, but for the whole of mankind. Huda lin nasi wa bayinatim min al huda wal furkan. And it is a fuller explanation of the, the revelation of God and a guidance and as a discrimination, as a standard of judging right from wrong. This is the Quran, the final revelation of God Almighty to mankind. So month, Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was revealed. And two verses before this one, in verse 183, we are told, Ya yuhalladhin amanu. See, O you who believe, O men of faith, Ya yuhalladhin amanu, kutiba alaykum usiyamu, kama kutiba ala alladhin min qablikum. Says, fasting has been ordained for you, has been prescribed for you, as it, is, as it had been prescribed for those before you. La'allakum tattakun, that ye may learn self-restraint, that ye may learn discipline. The purpose of fasting, we find here, told to us by God Almighty, is not just to starve ourselves, but that we may learn self-discipline. And there is nothing new in this. It is not entirely something novel that God Almighty had ordained this system of fasting for the previous uh, religious systems. In Judaism, the, the religion as taught by Moses, fasting was prescribed. In the religion as preached by Jesus Christ, Hazrat Isa alayhi salam, fasting was prescribed. And we read in the Christian scriptures, in what is called the New Testament in English, that Jesus Christ, he told his disciples that when you fast, do not fast as the hypocrites do. They do not wash their faces and they do not brush their hair. But when you fast, you must wash your face and brush your hair of a happy countenance that nobody knows that you are fasting because you are fasting for the love of God. So in Islam, That's true. this is one of the major principles, pillars of Islam. And the Muslim, he looks forward to this holy month of Ramadan and the Ramadan of the Muslim, the holy month of fasting, is counted according to a lunar calendar. We in the West, people in the West, we have a Gregorian solar calendar based on the movement of the sun, 365 and a quarter day, a year, and another 365 and a quarter, and another 365 and a quarter, and at the fourth turn of the earth around the sun, they add a day which means they have a lunar, they have add what is called in February, they add an extra day. Now, in Islam, Allah bari ta'ala, God in his mercy, what he has done is that by giving us a lunar calendar for working out our days and our counting for our religious festivals, it has made it possible for mankind to have a fair chance of experiencing all the seasons of the year. For example, that if it was a solar calendar, then in the West, for example in England, which is a Western country, not of the southern, of the, equate, of the equator, in that if Ramadan was around Christmas time, in December, like they say the birth of Jesus Christ was in December, they have a white Christmas, means always it is midwinter. In our case, if Ramadan was to come, instead of December, we say Ramadan, then every year, year in and year out, it would have been a, a midwinter for fasting, and people in the south of the equator, it would have been in midsummer, like in my country, South Africa, we would be having midsummer throughout our experience, and the Western man would be having midwinter throughout his experience, and fasting in winter and fasting in summer are not equal. There is a vast difference between these two. Fasting in summer is no doubt more strenuous. It is more tiring, more trying than fasting in winter. Then in winter, in the West, they have very, very long days and very, very short nights. Then we have very, very long days and uh, very short days in, in winter and very, very long nights. So in other words, it would be very unfair, very unjust to work on a system of that nature. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala God Almighty, in His wisdom, in His mercy, He has given us this lunar calendar for working out 
this holy month of Ramadan. And we Muslims, we fast from before sunrise to sunset. Before dawn, we can have a little breakfast. And the whole day, from, morning, from, from, from sunrise up to sunset, not even a sip of water, no smoking, no sniffing, and other normal relationship which might exist between, let's say, the husband and the wife. Even those relationships of uh, satisfying your sexual needs are forbidden. And it is a great discipline. Wow. Tell me first thing here, and that's sexual aspects between couples are forbidden during Ramadan. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm really shocked. Um, I never expected I was going to say sexual aspects between couples. I'm really shocked at that. I comment down below how true is this. I would love to know because I'm really surprised. But there's, there's a reason. If you're able to discipline yourself by fasting, also the sexual aspect, discipline yourself. You don't smoke, you don't sniff. Exactly as I said, it's good, but and and I, I never pictured it to be like a stain of sex within married couples. I'm shocked at that. That is totally different. I'm really surprised. Let's keep watching, guys. And the only witness to this system of fasting is God Almighty Himself. And we are told in the books of Hadith that Allah Bari Ta'ala, He Himself will reward the faithful, the one who has fasted from His own presence. Because the Muslim has done this for the love of God only. And nobody is a witness to this. Because in the privacy of one's own home, from the cool refrigerator, He can take out water and He can drink. Who is a witness to that? Nobody except Allah. So with the fear of Allah, the love of Allah, this makes the Muslim to obey this pillar of Islam. Okay, um, I would love to ask a question. Um, I know fasting it's to deprive the flesh, but aside doing that, um, what is the purpose of it? I'm talking to my um, Muslim friends. What is the purpose? Like, are you fasting for something? Are you fasting um, for safety? Are you fasting? for breakthrough are you fasting for um peace exactly like are you just fasting to abstain for some certain sins and discipline your body because people who are just um monks they are good at those discipline like there must be a reason you are fasting aside being um disciplined is there any other reason like um he didn't mention yet? is there any other reason you guys are fasting for I would love to know. I know you guys are fasting for God, but there must be a reason for the fasting itself. We Christian, there's there's a reason for me fasting every time. I'm fasting to give God thanks for saving my life. I'm fasting for future times that God is going to put it and guide me. Those are my reasons. So is, are there reasons like that for Muslims? I would love to know. And please share your thoughts in the comment section, guys. To definitely mean a lot to me. To mean a lot to me. I really do love the video. I agree with him, but I was really shocked at the aspect of abstaining from sex from married couples because uh, <laughs> I never knew that would also be prohibited to. But uh, if that is accepted by you guys, then it's if it's written in the Quran that you abstain from your um, your spouse during Ramadan, no sex, then it's fine as long as it's written in your Quran. But I'm, I'm really shocked at that. I'm very, very, very surprised. Very surprised. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video as many as can. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, guys. You know how to do it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag. Like an old lady. I'm back. Wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama. I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitches in my bed I got scales all